Oh, I've activated my V trigger <laughs> revenge. Now you die <laughs> at 60, or was, I guess in, in DK's case, it might be like 70, 80. Yeah. Well, he's going Wario, so right. maybe he doesn't want to play that whole game we were talking about. Wario, you know, I have heard that he's, you know, trying to play better characters. Wario is right. obviously They're better. Also, very good at zoning and comboing Incineroar. Oh, yeah. Definitely, like, Wario, a lot stronger aerial mobility you know yeah and so. he just there's a defined pace to like what he wants to do as to where vers where dk versus incineroar might be a bit more like scramble heavy and you can just see like ymca doing everything he can to kind of just like bait out options but there we go here's the up tilt the up b you know yeah, just keeping it simple doesn't want to get frame three countered I feel like you could go for the up airs, though. Like, yeah, that, or at least a Nair. Yeah. Because Nair's like frame four or something. At least that's what it was in Smash 4. I assume it's the same in this game. It's pretty, it's pretty good. But, but it's, you know, you can tell by the way that he was playing that first like 20, 30 seconds that he wants to play super reserved against Incineroar. He's not trying to give him any damage that he's not earned super hard. All right. And here's the edge guard, you know, opting to just let him get back on the stage. And yet again, covers the get up option with the neutral B. All right, he's trying to go for that spike hit where you land with Wario's down air, and then it just spikes them because it doesn't connect into the last one. All right. Uh, and then Incineroar is going to be super susceptible to for a vertical recovery. Oh, you saw Incineroar going for that grab. and be like, I see yeah. you there, buddy. Let me give you a slap on the butt yeah. and just send you off stage. And that move is hard to spot dodge. Right. It is, like, the way that Incineroar moves, like, you have to time it super specifically for that exact move. Like, you can see there, he spot dodged that, seeing that the side view was coming, and he did it too early and just got caught. Yeah. They're gonna get to clean out with that back air, and you know, only six percent. But like, you know, you also have to imagine you're playing with like one less stock when you're fighting against Wario. Oh, I like that chase. You no, know, using the neutral B, be like, okay, you can hear it all drive away. Let me catch this landing with the other neutral B. Yeah, and neutral B is also you can't revenge that. Like, it's a super good aerial command grab that you can throw out against Incineroar and not be too worried about because he can't get much off of it. Now, Waff is on deck, so he has to play super perfect this uh, last stock if he doesn't want to get uh, comboed at like 30 and die. All right, and he just goes for forward tilt on it, guys. Uh, surprised to see him go up, uh, stop doing the down air because, like, it didn't work, but, like, it was close. And I don't know about forward tilt, honestly. All right. And yet again, you cannot just hold shield against that neutral B because that will break your shield at full. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's got a lot of hitboxes. Yeah. It's a lot of hitboxes, a lot of uh, lingering hitboxes, and you can't grab it in the middle of it either. On oh, the four tilt actually is enough pushback to get him not able to shield grab. Right. Ooh, I like that. You know, using the back air to, to hit him before he gets hit by the, the explosion hitbox to the cross shop. Yeah, super good space. Oh, and that's it. That's the wall. No, he goes for <laughs> up air or up smash. What? That was the sickest, worst way to end that combo I could have ever thought of. I mean, <laughs> there, oh, we there we go. <laughs> he had it. I just he had the guaranteed waft, <laughs> but he was just like, nah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the safe like <laughs> option because I don't want this waft to he's miss. Just so, he's super scared of revenge right now, but it's working out for him is the thing. I mean, I I respect the I respect yeah. the option there. I like, thought it looked super cool just because you never get to see Wario up smash like that. Yeah, I mean it, it was definitely an option to pick, and it wasn't a bad option. But like <laughs> you had the win the game button. He, yeah, you had the win the game option right there too. <laughs> I mean he got it eventually, but you know what? He won the game. I, we can't complain. Yeah, he's playing super solidly. He's just playing safer than he needs to. Right. I feel like it's that unfamiliarity where he's not, like, yeah. totally 100% confident with this character yet. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes it's important. It's really important in tournament to know where your limits are. Because, like, even if something's, like, specific in the matchup, if you don't know that and you know, like, there's some sort of level of uncertainty, if you can play without it, then it's perfectly fine to go for that. Oh, yeah. I mean, Wario's a character where you have to know for certain, for certain that certain moves will hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, going for the Nair and trying going for the pair afterwards, but gets the neutral B on landing. Now, that neutral B is such a good landing tool because if they try to hit it up with anything, then like they get just sucked into that command grab hitbox. Yeah, and the second game is starting off a lot different. You can see Mega's just really trying to get in as soon as possible right now. 
And it's working out pretty well for him right now, but most of the time, YMCA has had stage control, and that's super important against Incineroar. Like a lot of... They have intangibility Lariat. on the arms, so you can't punish Lariat. Yeah, you have to wait out that move and like get into a position and then punish it. Right. It's very tricky to punish, but it is punishable. Right. And you no, know, it has deceptively little end lag for what the move is. So you gotta be able to know you gotta punish it fast and you gotta punish it quick. Right, let's see if he can get the down air. Ooh, it sends him in, so he wasn't expecting to tech it either. Yeah, always have to be mindful, uh, and there's really no reason not to try to tech it because. If you go the other way, you're not even going to air dodge because of how much hit stun it has. I mean, at that percent, it probably would just straight have killed. Yeah. Uh, YMCA is struggling with these lariats right now, and Megan knows that he is going for them a lot. Ooh, I like that using the anti here. You no, know, throwing out a hitbox before Wario could right there. Yeah, and maybe YMCA is starting to get a bit overconfident here now, because now he's going in in a lot more unsafe ways, and it's. Getting him stuffed a lot. Oh, and you know what? He air dodged off stage. You know, didn't have a double jump, so he unfortunately is going to die to that. I and mean, that's just unfortunate right there. Yeah, and he had his bike too. He just didn't expect that he wouldn't make it back from that distance. Right. You know, but he does have the wind condition on deck. So if he can just get rid of the stock, you know, Sinwar is going to have the trouble, but he gets the revenge. And you know what? Like one one side B, that's going to be 60% right there. Yeah, but he can get this neutral B here. I'm pretty sure that'll get rid of the revenge because it is a grab. Yeah. Ooh, like, I like that. Going in low for that down air to just clean out that stock. And you know what? He's he's at kill percent. Zero is kill percent for <laughs> Wario because that's the combo where Nair, like, does all the shenanigans at. Yeah, and he doesn't necessarily have to kill with the loft outright because Incineroar doesn't have the best recovery. He can just go for it and then edge guard him. Right. And Incineroar can die from that way too. Yeah. But now he's, you know, he knows what his win condition is. He's going for these up airs. Oh yeah, now the next Nair that hits, the next up air that hits, that will be the game. But he is at 130%, so like Incineroar just needs that like one side B, that one back air. Here we go. No, and Sinor's throwing out that Nair, too. That Nair's a pretty good long-lasting hitbox as well. Ooh, oh. I like that. Stuffing it out with the forward air. And there's the game! And that is why you need to know your timings within Sinor to close out stocks like that. Oh, it's, uh, you know what? Mega definitely lucked out that game, too. Yeah, from yeah. that SD. Yeah. But, you know, he knew he was in a scramble situation. He got hit with a low knockback move. He's like, all right, I'm just going to go command grab now. Yep. And it worked out for him. So it was, you know, it was the basic play, but it was the right play there. Oh, yeah. No, go go for what will kill, basically. But, you know, if I'm YMCA here, I'm confident. And oh, yeah. Really, so he's even going back to PS2. That's how confident he is. He's going to the stage you lost on. He's perfectly fine to play those out. Right. Here we go with the command grab. Gets a uh, neutral B to dash attack right there. Here we go. Now just opening up with that uh, quick you know, Wario combo. Yeah, and Wario, uh, you know, obviously super good coverage character. Uh, Mega is pressing more of the defensive options. He's not really going down with the aerials much right now, and YMCA is more able to cover that. All right. Uh, as I say that, air dodges through lariats. Right. I mean that that Larry is such a good like anti air like anti like get off me option. Yeah, and uh, especially like when they're not practiced against it, as it seems YMCA is having trouble with like Mega's been throwing it out more and more, seeing that. Right, there we go, that reach. Oh yeah, very tip of the grab. Yeah, I was like, just like let me yeah. stretch out my elbows really quick to get that like one tip. pixel. Yeah, that little tiny pinky finger. Yeah. And again, YMCA on the back burner now. And again, get side B again. Now, that's the other thing you have to watch out for Incineroars do. They just jump side B immediately. If you're like anywhere near the ledge, you're going to get grabbed. Yeah, and honestly, the mental damage is set in right now. Oh, yeah, you can tell like YMCA is kind of falling apart right now. Ooh, right. using the forward tilt to forward tilt. I mean, he tried grabbing it, but it, like what yeah. you said earlier, it just pushed him away. He'd be like, ugh. You're not grabbing me. And, oh, you tried to grab me? Ugh. Yeah, and Sinor's normal grab, not nearly as crazy as the grab box on his command grab, so right. can't get away with that kind of thing. 
you know what? I'm wondering, like, he's going to have Waff on deck. And I feel like at 60%, he could just rip it now and, like, focus on the last stock and just, like, try to time out for a second one. Or do you think he's just going to try to make the most and try to finish out the stock as best as he can before Waff and then go for the super, like, last-minute game to come back? Well, I feel like if he was going to go for the Waff, right when he uh, Incineroar landed from that LB was the perfect time. So I think he's going to save it for his last stock at this point. All right. I mean, if he can get to that last stock... What? Being said, you know, just holding on to Wops is such a scare tactic. Um, just doing nothing. Like, you have to be worried about it as the opponent against Wario. On that forward tilt, that's going to take you. Oh, and YMCA reels in his chair as he gets forward tilted to his death. 